Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. Hope you guys are doing amazing. So we're going to talk about the month of May, May 2024. So we're going to go ahead and get started on May's reading. So of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Okay. All right. So we're going to talk about who's coming. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> We're going to talk about who's coming towards you for the month of May 2024, okay? Spirit, angels, guys, and divine ancestors, I welcome you into the reading for the new month of May 2024 for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Please protect the energy as I open the spiritual portal for May 2024 in who's coming towards Scorpio. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return all dark forces. Evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitoring spirits, offline and online, away from our home, my channel, sacred space, and my family, return the energy back to sender. Tenfold, so more to be. Amen and amen. All right. So, who is coming towards Scorpio for May 2024? Who's coming towards Scorpio for May 2024? Oh, okay. All right, so we got two cards here. The Queen of Swords and the Hermit. Okay. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Virgo. So Scorpio... <laughs> You're coming out as this queen of swords. It's someone that you may have already cut off out or cut off or either cut out of your life. Someone that you may have told off. You told them a piece of your mind. You may have even blocked this person. This could be someone who may have ghosted you. Tell me about the queen of swords. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Yeah. This is someone that you may have blocked out of your life, Scorpio, because this is someone who broke your heart. You may be in separation from this individual currently. Tell me about the queen of swords. Mm. This person made you cry. They broke your heart. Yeah. All right. And six of cups. So this is someone from your past. Someone from your past who actually broke your heart. That I feel like you've already cut your ties with this individual. Yeah. So five of wands, seven of swords, the five of cups in the reverse. At the bottom of the deck here. Hmm. There's a lot of tension between you and this individual. Mm. Possibly because of their deceptive ways. I feel like you don't trust this person. Mm. Yeah, someone here is going to try to come your way. But this is someone you've already given up on. All right, so tell me about the hermit. <clears throat> Who's coming towards Scorpio? May 2024. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Tell me about the hermit. Who's coming for Scorpio? May 2024. Clarify the hermit, spirit, angels, and guides. All right, so yeah, page of cups could be a water sign. Or someone who's wanting to reach out to you, communicate with you in some way, shape, or form. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, you and this person is not together anymore. There has been a separation, a breakup of you two. Uh oh, sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Someone who broke your heart from your past. Could be a Virgo, could be a water sign, or they just have it in their chart. They want to apologize, speak to you about the ending of the relationship. Mm. Yeah, this is someone who left you here. They left you and cut you out. Came to the Queen of Swords here. They walked away. Yeah. What is the Three of Swords? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me more about who's coming towards Scorpio. What is this Three of Swords? May 2024. Thank you. So we have two cards. The Knight of Wands in reverse. 
And we have the Temperance, both Sagittarius energy. What's the Six of Cups? I'm hearing time heals all wounds. So it took you some time to get through this, Scorpio. So the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop right here and talk about these two cards and the ones that clarify them. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, the Sun here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it took you some time to heal this heartbreak. Hmm. You didn't chase this person. You let time heal wound for you. You've evolved. You learned a lot from this. Hmm. You're now pouring into yourself. It's like you healed your own heartbreak. Wow. So with this four of pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. You basically in so many ways you let it go. You let the past go. You didn't hold on to the pain, the hurt, the whole situation. You just let it go. Yeah. It took you some time to heal, though. Hmm. Yeah, I just feel like you didn't chase this person. You didn't run after them. You took that time to heal. This person, whoever this was, was very wild, very reckless. And it's like, as time went on, it proved that to you. And it just <sighs> caused a lot of hurt, a lot of pain here. Yeah. All right. So tell me about the Page of Cups, Spirit Angels and God. Who's coming towards Scorpio? Of course, take what resonates, everyone. Leave what doesn't, okay? All right. Page of Cups. Who's coming towards Scorpio? May 2024. Tell me more about this energy. And we have the Four of Cups. So the number 44 may resonate with you. <clears throat> Page of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Someone could be going through depression. This person may message you or call you and let you know. They've been stalking and watching you for some time now, hoping to come out of the cold with you. Page of Swords and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here is like depressed. Hmm. Could be living beyond their means or wherever they decided to go to is not what you think it is. Their life is not as grand. Hmm. So wherever they decided to invest into, this is some lessons that this person is learning. This is someone who keeps repeating cycles, karmic cycles. Yeah. And their decision and choices weighing heavy on their shoulders because of the fact that they no longer have access to the divine kingdom, to this home that you guys may have had, or all of it just fell apart. This marriage, this relationship, something solid and committed that they had, you know? Yeah. They're paying some type of karmic debt for cars and this betrayal. A lot of tens are showing up here. So definitely an ending. Yeah. All right. So final message for Scorpio. Who's coming towards Scorpio for May 2024? Spirit Angels and Guides. What is the Ten of Cups in the reverse? So yeah, this could be a younger water sign, maybe someone who has Virgo in their chart, 
But it's definitely someone from your past that you've already released and cut off out of your life. You broke your heart. Yeah. This person could be spending a lot of time by themselves, reflecting, analyzing. Yeah, so Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, whoever this is, financially, they're not in a good place. Because, see, I mean, they're very immature. And I kind of understand why you put them off Knight of Wands in the reverse, Knight of Pentacles, and the page. They don't have a lot to offer you here. Ever since the separation, breakup of this relationship, things have been moving kind of slow for this person. It's almost like they're still working. It's almost like the way that they left you, they're still in that position. Nothing has really grand happened. It's like a battle. It's a fight that's going on here within themselves to the point that they almost feel like giving up. Wow. Yeah, someone here is not happy. Nine of Cups in the world. They're not happy that everything has closed out and that it's completely over. Yeah. Them walking away was the worst mistake that they ever made. They carry this burden with them on a daily basis. They think about it on the regular. They think about approaching you with the love offer. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Nine of Cups. They think about taking this risk to come your way. But again, Page of Pentacles. It's something to do with money or stability here. Yeah. Wow. All right, Scorps, this is what I have for May 2024 in regards to who is coming towards you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next reading. Bye-bye.